you know, edit mode anywhere, I agree, is a really exciting capability in .CMS 5.1. I have up here the, the uh, diagram of how uh, edit mode anywhere works. It's uh, not the prettiest diagram, but it is uh, descriptive. And the um, thing about diagrams, they work for the person who creates them, so that's what this is. But um, let me talk about it a little bit here. Edit mode anywhere really builds on the work we did with page as a service and layout as a service in .CMS 4, uh, 3 and 5.0. Those are very capable services. What we did, we took the page as a service endpoint and kept adding to it and adding to it and, in essence, added to it all really that a, a remote system that's consuming a page as a service would need uh, not only to render the page, but also to be able to render back into .CMS what that page would look like if .CMS were to consume it in edit mode. So what that means in essence is that with edit mode anywhere, what you can have is a fully manageable single page app that lives completely separately outside of .CMS. It could be a single page app. It could be, as Stefan said, and a .NET app, a PHP-based or a Node-based uh, server, anything that can consume the, the page as a service API and can render that back, and .CMS can take that render and will drop that into edit mode and make that manageable. So I think the best way for me to, to start is just to basically demonstrate it, right? And so what we've done um, and in 5.1 is we've delivered a, a single page app uh, that's written in React and written on top of our demo.cms.com site, uh, which is not a requirement, it's just an example. And so uh, with that, for this demonstration, we hooked that into a Heroku and have gone ahead and uh, deployed it uh, via Heroku. It's listening to a Git branch and whenever updates happen, it redeploys. The important thing about this app is that it is a universal or isomorphic uh, single page app. And what that means, is it means that it can render both client side um, completely um, using the browser's JavaScript or can render server side. And actually, a uh, node can go and um, make the requests under the covers and deliver the, the pre-rendered HTML back. And this single page app supports both of those. And so we, we went ahead and deployed it on Heroku and what that gives us on Heroku is uh, a single a single page app running uh, against a uh, we also have a server set up for this webinar called uh, webinar.cms.com and so the content the layout the pages in this um, webinar.cms.com is feeding all of the content layout and pages in this single page app um, so the single page app is a uh, has a lot of different uh, capabilities in it. Uh, number one, one challenge that I think people struggle with when uh, integrating CMSs with their single page app strategies is how do we, how do you deal with routes, right? Single page apps are all about, there are no pages, instead they're routes. And the routes are what content hangs on. Um, in .CMS, we offer uh, navigation as a service API that actually drives the uh, navigation up here for the single page app. And just to show you all, let me show you all the page source here. You can see here that that page source is, you know, obviously the, all of the interactions here are happening on the client side. We also, the single page app can support uh, things like slug, URL based slugs. Again, this is a pulling from the news repository in the .cms starter site. Now let's head on over to .cms and take a look at what it looks like on that side. Okay, as you can see, we're now at webinar.cms.com, which is driving the, uh, the content on the SQL page app running on Roku. And if I click into, let me just click into edit a page and jump to edit mode, you can see here that this page is actually uh, the exact, the single page app um, coming through in edit mode, right? And I can browse the site in edit mode. And if I take a look at a particular page, uh, you can see here that I have my normal editing capabilities within .CMS. And so what does that mean? It means we can edit content contextually. Contextual, right? And I can save that. And you can see here that 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 content's been updated. I can preview what that's going to look like, and I can preview that, you know, in a in a variety of different devices. I can preview what the single page app is going to look like in a variety of different devices, um, and I can also do things like drag and drop 
uh, content and content layouts. Uh, let me just show you all. You can drag and drop content, and let me drop a, the event up there. And and I can uh, rearrange my page however I see fit. Right now, the beauty of this is when I hit save and publish, uh, and I come back to my single page app. Uh, let's take a look at the About Us page now, and you can see all of my changes have now taken place and are uh, visible in my single page app, right? And so the single page, again, this is single page app is all uh, happening via API, via client side rendering, and I was able to, to jump in and uh, just edit that just like I would any other any other page or any other um, uh, site that's being delivered by .cms. But there's even more capability. Um, so in .cms and edit mode, you can edit uh, layouts, for example, right? So I could say that I want this page in particular to use a 50-50 layout. And I come back to our React app and refresh. You can see now my layout's being managed within .cms. I can do things like uh, choose to change if you had multiple themes. You could change the theme of your single page app, or I can choose to hide the header and footer of our single page app. And if I come back and refresh here, okay, so I, I lost my header. So with this capability, you can deliver more than pages. Um, you can de deliver layouts into third-party systems. So let's say you have an e-commerce site and you want to, in between the rows of products, you want to drop in a perfectly laid out promotion for a number of different products. You can lay that out within .cms and then consume that and be able to deliver that in a, in a single page app experience within your e-commerce application. And the good news is it's all configurable and controllable from uh, the .cms, the edit mode of the, the .cms system. So what it comes down to is there's really not a capability uh, in .cms edit mode that can't be leveraged within a single page app and within the single page app edit mode anywhere framework that we've developed. Right, uh, you can do things like, let's say I want to add a, uh, let's say I want to add a new YouTube video, right? And I'm going to say, okay, YouTube video, and I'm going to search for my favorite YouTube video of all times, which are cat videos, and I'm going to go ahead and save and publish those or this video. And now, when I come back to my single page app, you can see that um, the cat videos uh, on my single page app, and I can, again, I can you know, reorder and drag and drop anything that um, anything that could be done within edit mode, right? So when I come back to my single page app, there's my cat video. Uh, moving on, let me show a little bit about how, how single page apps, uh, how you can add new pages uh, to single page apps. And again, in, um, in this paradigm, and this doesn't have to be the case, but in this paradigm, a page equals a route within the single page app. So we say my um, node page, we give it a URL and we choose a, uh, we pick a template here uh, within the system and let's go ahead and say one column and we're going to save and publish. Okay, so now we're looking at a blank page on the, uh, on the single page app. Well, what I'd like to do actually is I'd like to choose to show this page on menu. I, I want to cache it. I'd like to choose to show this page on menu and go ahead and add that property there and then begin to manage my content on the page. So I can say, okay, this page is going to have, again, it's going to be, uh, you know, maybe it's a three column layout. And I can choose what, I can choose in each area what, what content can be added to that area. Um, and then maybe I want to add at the top a banner, right? So I can say, let's put a, a banner at the top and drag that up at the top and go ahead and save that and coming back to my page so these are my now my layout of my template so i can say let's say i want to select a new banner right and one thing we've done in 5.1 is we we give a um, an image uh, a preview of what the uh, content type can look like uh, and here you can see we can drop a banner let's say the first time investor okay and that's going to go ahead and drop that onto the page. Um, and I can begin to populate the content under it. And I can reuse content. Uh, I can drop content onto it. I can say, OK, let's drop um, 
all, all different kinds of content. And this content, again, is all manageable. Let's say the uh, technological job fair, okay? So, you know, really I've just created a page. I can go ahead and publish this page. And now when I come over to my single page app and I hit refresh, you can see here I have a new route called my node page. Right? And again, this is all um, this is all client side. What's happening here, and that that ref that instantly is available to any any remote system that is uh, using .tms to drive the the page and uh, context of their application. And let's say I wanted to you know I can continue down this path, and I can. Uh, reorder my menu and I want to put services first in about a second in my node page at the top and I can go ahead and save those changes and you know my menu and the navigation is refreshed on my page it's also refreshed on my single page app in putting together this video I've come to realize how, how deep and uh, powerful this capability edit mode anywhere is uh, if for our system, it, it's, there's a lot of components to it, and it requires some understanding of how some of the different pieces in .tms work. But to enable it really uh, takes a the single page app, which we're going to be offering in 5.1. There's a an OSGI based plugin, which we're going to be offering in 5.1 that can do the uh, the delivery of the edit mode anywhere. And finally, you know, obviously .tms 5.1. And with those three pieces, you can deliver content rem completely remotely and get that rendered in any third-party system and still deliver a very, very robust and business-friendly edit editing experience for your uh, CMS users.